Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in the Soviet Republic with the workers and the resources. So we're sitting here, it's uh, October 1999 in game and uh, well, you know, some stuff has so sort of kind of happened, right? We have chemicals in the central location. Um, it's going to take a while to fill that up, but uh, we've also got uh, a shortcut track over here, uh, which means it doesn't. The trains going between don't have to go all the way uh, back over to the original town. Uh, this here is uh, a food distributor, right? Uh, so. Uh, all in all, chemical distribution appears to be working, and uh, we're coming in on 100 million rubles. Now, I was toying with the notion of enabling trash management, waste management, but I think that will tank the Republic. So I need to do some experimentation, uh, maybe to figure out how to do it. I'm pretty sure what I can do is pause the game, enable it, uh, then uh, build, uh, place the infrastructure necessary, then disable it again, uh, and uh, you know, set up any routes and everything that need to be set up. Or, you know, let everything build and then set up the routes and everything. But it occurs to me that I probably want to get a little bit more going on with the... Uh, resource central operation. Uh, largely what I want to do is, uh, let, let's, um, let's head back down to the original town over here. Um, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so the idea is I want to get uh, a lot of this stuff over here. Uh, the pollution causing complication causing uh, uh, construction uh, industries. I want to get those. Uh, I want to move the main storage for those to a more central location so I can have an easier time if I want to go back to um, a realistic mode, uh, then I can have an easier time just distributing everything, right? Uh, so that's the idea, right? So uh, if I, so I think the first thing I need to do is maybe, where's the steel mill? Um, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's over at Iron Town, right? So I think maybe what I should do is start. Uh, Uh, start, um, right, uh, figuring out how to words, and that, that's maybe what I should do. Uh, yeah, uh, no, is, uh, start um, collecting uh, steel and uh, bring that to a central location. So, uh, you know, a couple of uh, steel piles in the central location. Yeah, okay. Let's uh let's do steel. So this is over here. This is chemicals. Uh, do I maybe want to put the raw stuff over here? Maybe. There's lots of room. Yeah, there's lots of room. Okay, what storages do do I have? That that's a probably a good question, isn't it? Uh, so, open storage. Uh, open storage. We just have medium and small stock ones, but if I go in the mods, uh, storage, storage, storage. Okay, so, warehouse, no...
multi-rail large open storage, 2,500, that's okay. Right. Okay, no. Um... Open storage. Okay. Okay, huge warehouse can store everything. I think that's kind of a cheat. How big is it? Yeah, that's a cheat. Um, okay. No, there was a... There was the... Now, I think I... Right. Multi-rail, small, 1250. Huge open storage. Oh, huge open storage. How big is that? That's huge. That takes up lots of space. I think that might be acceptable. Um... 35,000 tons of steel. Okay, we could probably use this for all of the... Uh... Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to build this. I'm going to actually stick it... Uh... Over here. Need flat terrain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do this. So if I do this, say over about here, flatten the terrain, yeah. Okay, let's pause. Now let's look at this. Uh, that, okay, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to favorite that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, this... Uh, medium open storage. Uh, what does it need? Um, oh yeah, yeah, this is a le the sizing on this is, uh, is appropriate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, you know, it's got a decent cost to build as well. Uh, but let's get this up here and then uh, take a look at uh, what it looks like. There we go. It is a large operation. Yep. Uh, right. Um, if you limit the quantities of each... Ah, okay. Well, we're not going to store uranium in there. Uh, we're not going to store waste in here. 
Uh, boards we might. Maybe, maybe wood. Uh, bricks prefab. Uh, not aluminum for the moment. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a good uh, a good amount of storage, I think, for those. Now, what kind of power is it looking at? Not much. Okay, so I'm going to need to put a uh, to put a power connection up here. Uh, right. Okay, so and I'll start out with a power substation. Uh, which we can stash in right about, I don't know, here? Yeah. Now we'll stick it right about here. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not going to work. It. That's the wrong one. Uh, okay. No, 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 I want the one with the path. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's a little bit more uh, the placement friendly. So I can stick this one here. Yeah. Okay, uh, obviously I'm going to want a road into this operation. Uh, how am I going to get a road into the operation? Well, easy going to do it the easy way for the moment. Yeah. Bam. Yep. There we go. We have a road. Now I'm going to need some sort of a footpath to that thing. Yep. Now I'm going to need some sort of a power connection which I think we can just grab from, I don't know, this. Yeah. We can... Nah. We'll, uh... No, we'll come out this side. And then we come up like this. Uh, up to about here. Yeah. And we can come over to here, yeah. And then up to here. And into there. Okay. So now we should have power, right? Yeah, we have power. Okay. Now, the uh, final bit is I need to connect it to the rail network. Now, you can imagine exactly how I'm going to do that. With a bunch of crashiness, probably. Um, okay, so I think the uh, obvious uh, connection what point is here. Yeah, that is the obvious connection point. Um, and I guess maybe... Bring this around to here. Kind of like that. Yeah, we could do that. And then put a crossover in. Um, you're going to use that for doing a little bit of storage potentially on the way in, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, right. Uh, so this is going to need a uh, couple of mixed signals here, right? Apparently you don't need to do this uh, mixed and uh, non-mixed, uh, you know, mixed chain and uh, regular uh, signal business uh, anymore, but uh, this works, and I'm going to stick with what I know is working, right? Okay, so that gets me... Uh, uh, you know, a, a rail operation where we can get in there. Now, this is going to be... I'm going to want to call this something a little uh, saner, right? Uh, and this is going to be Resource Central Open Storage. Right, okay. 
Now, uh, a question is, what do I do for the uh, resource uh, acquisition? Well, yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to need to uh, bring the, uh, the resources up here, right? Uh, steel, I can already do. I can redirect the trains. Um, yeah, I, I can definitely redirect the trains. Um, okay, so in Iron Town, yeah. In Iron Town, uh, what I do not have rail. I have rail that comes into the steel mill. So do I have? Do I have any? I have a steel exporter, which is a train. Uh, the steel exporter. Oh! It's not doing anything. Okay. Yeah. Now... Uh, question I the question I have is whether I should do a regular pickup train that just goes there, fills up, and drives to the central storage and then parks there to unload. Yeah, I don't think that's the smartest move. Okay, so. Um, now this is something I'm going, I'm going to want a dedicated train for that, I think. Maybe. Huh. That's a, that's a ponder question. No, uh, not really a ponder question. Um, yeah. Uh, what wagons do we have? Okay. You know what? I've got room. I can put some, uh, some, uh, wagons for, uh... What do we have for, um, cargo wagons from here? Um... Okay. Hmm. Well, we have a coil, we have coil wagon, a 14 meter coil wagon takes 110. Okay. Uh, so if we go and we look in here, we have a, the, the open wagon, 20 meter, <coughs> 50 meters, 67, uh, 70, let's buy some dollar, um, dollar, uh, uh wagons here. Uh, cargo wagon. Um, what was it? It was a, yeah, coil wagon. Um, open, covered, open, covered, open, of course. And what's the complaint? I need a track to. Oh, that was autosave, wasn't it? Well, let's put eight of those in there. Yeah. Okay. Now. 
we'll go in here and we will add the steel mill. Right? So the steel mill is going to load steel. I'm not going to unload there. Um, right? Now we're going to go over to Resource Central and we're going to unload. Yeah. Up to 100%. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, we come up here. And... You are a... What are you? You're bringing coal. You are... Um, uh, doing something here. Uh, right, yeah, you're picking up, um, uh, right, okay, so we're picking up 800 tons of steel on this train. Yep. 800 tons of steel is apparently worth um, rather a lot of rubles. Uh, definitely rather a lot of rubles. Right. Well, that's going to take a while to... Uh, we are... Yeah... Now, the steel mill has kicked into uh, some sort of uh, gear ratio here. Uh, some sort of gear ratio. Um, yeah, so we definitely have plenty of capacity for producing steel, so uh, I'm not overly concerned about this eroding all the supply. But it does... But we do have uh, sufficient uh, train operation here to uh, fetch um, uh, to fetch a lot of it. Uh, well, half of the capacity, really. Uh, okay, so n almost nine hundred tons of steel is like two and a half million rubles. Okay, and we're just about full. There, there we go. Now we are off. And you can see that it's filling up the uh, steel uh, production uh, storage thingy there uh, relatively quickly. So uh, if we do a dynamic follow on this... Uh, do we take the uh, shortcut? And we do take the shortcut. Yes. Let's just observe this for a minute or two. What a lot of wires. Uh, um, right. Here we go at the uh, the main line, I guess it is. Right. Do you kind of like how this sets up for for operations here? Uh, with um, ooh, neat. Uh, the snow. Uh, actually looks proper for uh, moving forward at speed through falling snow. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, yeah. Um, I kind of like how this is set up, is setting up to look uh, coming through the uh, empty space here. Yeah. 
and off we go into the storage depot thingy. Yep. Okay, and it'll take a minute to unload here too. So, I'm going to uh, cancel the the following now oh look at that you can see it uh, putting its uh, uh, cargo here into uh, a great big cavernous empty space there well it'd be cavernous if it had a lid but it doesn't have a lid right so you know I think this is actually several um, open storages uh, just glued together. There we go. The train is on its way back to the uh, depot thingy. Um, what I should probably do is go back to that depot thingy. Nah. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, right. So. Uh, I guess the question now is going to be, uh, do I change the uh, existing distribution points from the uh, uh, factory area there? Or do I leave everything as is uh, until I go through and redo a, a bunch of stuff yeah i'm not sure uh what else uh would i bring up here bricks and uh prefabs prefabs would be good and bricks yeah okay so that's going to be in the original town over here yep so bricks How do I get out of here? Yeah, that is a question, isn't it? Um, so, can I squeak a uh, track through here and get into the prefabs area? No, because the... Oh... Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be problematic. Uh, why don't I go for bricks first? Because I can get at them. Yeah, I can get at them, but what can I do with them? Uh, yeah. Well, the first thing you should do is uh, rejigger that road uh, set up there. Right? Um, so, do that, do that, yeah, why not, and that, and that even, yeah. Uh, okay, so if I do that, now, can I get a, uh, track out of there? No. Um, no, I can't, because the, the Dewey there is in the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to make things a little bit more complicated. Not really, though, if you think about it. Get a train station. Um, yeah, you're going to get a train station to do what? Um, cargo train station. Cargo train station? Oh. We only have the... 
Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, uh, that is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. So, how do you sort this out? So, this is just a steel distribution point. Right, I wanted to see if I could get a... See if I could get a track through here. No. Is there any way to get a track through there? No. But... I think there is a way to get a track around. Yeah. I could... Yeah, I could get one around that way. Can I peel one off here? No. Well, I can't peel it off there, no. Angle of crossing too sharp. Yeah, okay. But I could I could peel one off here. Yeah, I could peel a track off there. And I could get a track through here. That would allow me to bring steel down this way. No, that's not going to work. Um, you know, you should just do this in blueprint mode. Yeah, I should. Um, right. Okay, so... Uh, I could bring it, wait, um, can I even get a track through there? Can, can I get a track across here? Oh, I can. So I could have that do that, oh, do that, nope. Oh, I have to rebuild that uh, that wire to make this work. Okay, well, pause things and do that. Okay. Now, cancel that. Back to there. Right. And then this can come across like... Nope. Uh, can we... Too close to road intersection. Um... Okay. There's a road intersection there. Um, no. Nope. Yeah, we can come across like this. Well, we can do that for now. And yeah. Because these are all facing the wrong way. But... If... Okay... Yeah, I'd have to rebuild all of this stuff over here, too. Okay, I should put that um, that wire back. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the wire's back. Um, okay, so I'm not sure I, I like that notion. I think I'm going to need to uh, just yank all this stuff out of here and uh, rebuild it elsewhere, maybe. Or at least yank the storages out. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I could make it work if I rejigger the the roads and everything in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I can make that work, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to see if I can remember to do it next time. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, um, something. Uh, right, so before I go, I want to check in at Iron Town. I want to check in on here. Uh, we have used up all the steel. Uh, right. You know, I think perhaps I should uh, find the pickup at the steel mill. And maybe that should be 50% <laughs> or 60%. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are producing steel at a good clip. So uh, I'm not overly concerned about running out of the stuff. But uh, yeah, keeping the uh, reserve there while we build up the reserve over in uh, Resource Central. where we've got another train has arrived and now we're putting in more steel right yeah so that's uh that's going to be uh th i'm going to call that progress you know uh, it, it feels kind of like uh, progress. But why... Okay, I need to... Okay, why is this 86%? Uh, is it because the steel mill kicked up? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to call that the uh, the part here, you know. It's, uh, we're going to, I'm going to put the cut. Uh, I, I do have a Patreon, you know, if uh, you feel like you want to support the channel. You know, it's an option. You can head over to the link in the description. Uh, or you can ignore the link in the description if you don't want to support the channel. You know, that's, that's fine, too. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there's also the YouTube business. You know, you could do, like, uh, liking and commenting and subscribing. You know, you could do that. Or not. You know, it's entirely up to you, obviously. And I guess uh, all that said, see you back next time.